I'm gonna count this. Uh, legit, I think I should. I think I should be able to count this. Uh, early on, you know, uh, well, I guess not early on in the arc. Kind of still pretty, pretty fairly back. You know, when I started doing Black Clover reviews, um, I, I, there were a bunch of things within this arc that I wanted to happen. You know, uh, some examples such I wanted to see a 1v1 fight with Mary Leona, tag team fights with uh, Asta and Yuno. And I think the only thing that I didn't get was uh, it wasn't Zora getting a direct 1v1 with someone. Because this chapter, we got the one other thing that I, that I thought I was going to have to end this arc without uh, getting. And that's an interaction between the word devil and the anti-magic devil. So it, it, it's not much, but it's enough. You know, it, it's going to be really uh, nice just to, to see where things like people can you know, theorize and speculate off of uh, this small interaction. But as it was, Asta with his much elongated black divider cut through the anti uh, cut through the war double with his anti-magic and seems to be destroying the process. He's, you know, he's freaking out, you know, the, the classic thing when, uh, you know, that, that big power villain is just defeated and they're just yelling at impossible all over the place. You know, you know that's this, one of their signs are getting towards that, uh, that defeat moment. But... We got, again, not entirely what I wanted because I, I was really hoping there would be names in there, just like a, a swap between names. But the anti-magic devil confronts the word devil right before he ends up dis uh, disappearing. And, and from that, he's like, it's interesting because he shows up, the anti-magic devil, and he's like, you know, he's uh, greeting him, refers to him as his senior, as his superior because he knows you know there is some form of pecking order within the uh the demons we, we don't know too much about it but he seems shocked when he says the anti-magic devil that's one of the things that i think is really interesting um about this is he doesn't know who he is at all like he doesn't know who this devil is and i talked about a little bit a theory of how this can work you know i can go into more extensive kind of like you know just a different video discussion over uh, how I think the anti-magic devil came to be, you know, because of the, I'll just get like a, just a nice TLDR uh, because of the fact that uh, when Licht, Licht didn't have his body taken over by a demon and he'd become a dark elf rather he, I, actually I think he became a dark elf and then he progressed more either way, you know, he, he became a demon, that's the important thing out of it he didn't get possessed, he seemed to have created a new demon and where did all that demonic aspects go uh, after he was defeated and you know, seemingly now reincarnated? Uh, maybe all that like residual demon power uh, kind of like created a new being and that, you know, thus creating anti-magic and the an anti-magic demon. We don't know. It's just one of those mysteries we're still getting. Uh, we get a little tease from Tabata, but as that is, it's at least one thing. I could say that the only thing I didn't get out of this arc that I planned going into it was... Zora getting a 1v1 because I did get a demon interaction, which was very cool because we're, we're, it's obvious we're going to get more demons in the future, but for the longest time, we only really knew of one, that being the anti-magic devil, and not really knowing anything even about him, we only got one real interaction with him and Asta back in the Witch's Forest, but uh, then we got this word devil, and since he's shown up, it's just been that, like, what it would be like to see the two demons talk. And, you know, the anti-magic demon is just like, it doesn't really matter, uh, you know, swapping names. Because it doesn't, because even if you're stronger, even if you're more powerful, even how, you know, great and amazing you are, you lost. So, you know, the, you're done. And I am now taking all the, it, taking all the, the, the credit in this situation as a demon. Because he, he's seemingly gone. Uh, we don't know if the, if the um, war devil is dead dead, or maybe he's gets sent back to the, uh, place where all the demons are from maybe then we'll get an interaction between him and the other demons that'd be kind of cool if the demons wanted to do stuff in like a following arc you know at some point down the line because they're they're worried about the anti-magic devil and they want to take him out and so they have to kind of like go through this whole arc to do it and then you could maybe have like from their perspective they're doing something good but obviously from the clover kingdom standpoint it would be you know them potentially killing asta yeah, there, there's a lot of questions we don't know it's gonna be so much further down the line this is still really nice to get because it, it shows that kind of like not like aggressively vicious like nature of of the anti-magic devil because he seems like a little bit aggressive but like more verbally aggressive he doesn't seem like that much mean of a guy like that 
the war devil is dying and the anti-magic demon just shows up talks to him for a little bit and then uh you know he's like ha ah, i beat you you suck bye and there was no like other interaction it wasn't like like zoro when he talks to people and he shits on somebody for doing something wrong he goes like hard in like this dude is just like sucks to suck dude bye he lets him go that's it and i so i'm i'm super curious of what this guy is going to be like because of the the malefic feel to him but at the same time uh not too evil kind of like aspect of the anti-magic devil so it makes me I can still wonder if he's actually uh on the side of humans or maybe he's like a, a rogue devil not uh in any way associated with all the others uh the fact that the word devil didn't know who he was either is obviously going to mean he's some uh, up and coming like unknown demon like again like if he was never born in the realm where the demons are as i said earlier in the video or if he's like so maybe so high up there that uh he's beyond uh beyond the word devil like it's even knowledge but i feel like if it, he was already a known if he was like powerful in the, in the devils already and known even if he's like way high up there uh then the word devil would probably know about him because then he'd be like famous to them i don't know and kind of like think of the aspect I still kind of like the idea that he's uh, he was born from Lick turning into a demon rather than uh, being controlled by one. But we'll see. As it is now, you know, ending out the arc, Asta falls out of his form. You know, he's uh, tired, but he's still got his uh, spirit of Zephyr and his spirit dive active. Zachary's just very pleased of, after all the damage and all the things that, uh, that the word devil was associated with in causing. He's finally been defeated. Everybody starts to just kind of like rally together. He has some nice uh, interactions with, uh, with, with Carla and with Yami. But also just the fact that the, the anti-magic, or not anti-magic, the war devil's like weird demonic leech creature thing isn't disappearing. Which makes me very curious of where that's going to go. Because I feel like that in itself is going to have some form of repercussions in the story. Because there's a couple ideas. Because the Shadow Palace is that bridge between those two realms. We, we don't know how many dimensions there are in Black Lord. We know at least there's the standard one and the sh the one world that the demons are are, are from. They're all crazy other world magic, is, as he calls it. But could this be that it's going to disrupt the, the, the barrier between them? Because one thing is uh, with Tabata, Tabata's favorite manga is Berserk. I feel like this could lead into, uh, similar to in, in Berserk, a Fantasia event. If you've read Berserk, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it could be. like it, This could affect a boundary between two dimensions. Is that going to cause an issue in the future? Again, we don't know. But at the moment, there's also the fact that, say, oh, it, it breaks out of the Shadow Palace and comes back into the Clover Kingdom. Then what are they going to do about this? How are they going to stop it from spreading? What's going to go on in order to prevent this possible debacle and calamity in of its own? Because this thing seems very magic resistant. Like, uh, obviously, anti-magic works on it. Uh, light magic, seemingly dark magic. But most magic seem to get completely just dissolved upon contact. So it's probably really hard trying to, like, uh, try to neutralize this threat. But after that, like, they're getting... Everyone's obviously starting to, like wear down you know there's there's some issues with the mirror and his uh stone body uh the characters are all trying to just to figure out what exactly they need to do but luckily they have some aid because valtros and rana shows up valtros useful spatial mage is able to teleport them get them to a safer area and then we have uh, actually goldry and uh and rev she show up with yami and carla and i'm kind of confused over what will happen with them now? Because I thought they were going to get away, escape, and, you know, they weren't going to have anything to do with the Clover Kingdom for the rest of maybe their story. Uh, and they'll be like, oh, we fled to one of the other kingdoms and we sold all of these uh, powerful magic tools and artifacts in order to, you know, become, like, rich luxury people. We, we made it out and then, oh, the, there's an issue now because the whatever kingdom has all these brand new shiny super powerful weapons from the goddamn Shadow Palace. What, uh, what do we do? And but they're with Yami and, uh, and Carla now, so I'm wondering if now all these special magic tools that they received are going to be going towards the Clover Kingdom. That could work. Maybe that could be what helps them close up the gap that you know could uh, present itself right now with the fact that they lost Julius, seemingly William. Uh, we don't know if, uh, how it's going to go with the 
the elves that took over human bodies. We don't know what their situation is. Is it going to be like a X amount of time until they come back? So what are we going to do until then? But for now, for now, let's just speculate because I'm their their predicament. I think is very interesting in the fact that because of the magic tools that they now possess, they hold a lot of either power flux for the enemies or okay, cool, uh, maybe the bad guys after they show they'll just have like one of those show up parts where oh we're gonna uh, we're gonna fight you guys. They lose. It's like oh the Clover Kingdom like they're down on people. They just had this big like debacle. Maybe not everyone's recovered. But, you know, they lose, you know, they still taste like a quick defeat, but it's not like one of those complete defeats. It's more of just like a, a temporary, like, win. Like, oh, they just won uh, a town, and now we, you know, one of our towns has been lost to, to, let's just go to the Diamond Kingdom. And then, like, oh, cool, we have these magic tools we can use, you know, we can f find one that works for you, train with it, and that'll generally make you more powerful. And then add, you know, an extra thing to the characters, they'll get, like, a training thing, you know, get something, uh, a fun, like additional piece of their character i think one of the only like long training arcs i could think of that was like enjoyable somewhat was the one from hitman reborn just because that was like i i, I say long like that was a long period within the series like for a training period like it was like a straight up raw training arc it wasn't like a couple chapters it was like 20 or 30 or something something super lengthy but either way i just don't get sidetracked now we have everyone uh, kind of grouping back and now they're getting ready to leave. And one of the things to note in this is while Lumiere was, you know, he's in a stone body. He's powered by the magic stones. Like he's he's on a, a time limit right now. But like one of the stones falls out of his eye and uh, he seems to be getting ready to that point of breaking off. So I'm wondering what this is... I think that the way that I, I want to describe it when it's like, what are they going to do with Lumiere in the future? What is Lumiere's character? Is this the only time they're ever going to be able to summon him? Is this going to be like a, a, a on or not a, I was going to say a reoccurring ongoing thing. Like, could he be like their secret weapon? Like, oh, if, you know, if we can't do anything, like something bad, happens, we still have a way to summon Lumiere. I think that's kind of cool. I think that's like this kind of like way to have like a almost Dragon Ball scenario where it's like, oh, got all Dragon Balls, get away. You know, it's like, okay, uh, we we have all the stones scattered right now. We don't know where they are, but we know how to find them. We have to find them within X amount of time so we could, you know, bring Lumiere to help us in a war because otherwise we'll lose or something like that. Where it's like, it adds a level of just like in any time, you know, given the, if they have the magic stones or not, could bring out the their, their founder of... I guess not their founder, because he was their first Wizard King. And probably one of the most powerful mages, like, we'll see in this series. Until, like, end game stuff. Like, years and years down the line. But other than that, no. We're just getting, uh, we're getting away out of the this situation. They're getting ready to leave the Shadow Palace. And we're getting, uh, a close suit on the arc. I, I don't know what else we could really have in this. Like, again, something that either the... There's the potential threat of that, like, again, like, leechy, weird, clawed out word devil magic from the other world. Potentially, that's a threat, but I feel like it's going to be, like, the way that it is. Because when we see it, it's, like, breaking out of the Shadow Palace, and then it's in this, like, dark void space. I feel like it's just going to create an issue with that connecting point with the Shadow Palace. Maybe make it so creatures from over there. Maybe that because the Shadow Palace is all banged up that the barrier between the two worlds is going to be, like, way weaker, and then demons will start coming over. Uh, maybe not like, oh, full-body demon, day one, it'll be like, oh, now we can come over way easier and, like, move around way quicker or something. Who knows? Who knows as of right now? Deep speculation for a, a future arc, but nice stuff for an, ongoing, for an outgoing arc. I, I was super close to just giving up to uh, getting a demon interaction. I've been wanting it for a while, it wasn't a full one, no names were dropped, but just to see them, like, have brief words with each other was very interesting. Uh, but other than that, uh, drop a comment below and what you thought about this chapter. I thought that singular part was pretty hype. Singular part was pretty hype. What's that, like a page and a half of just these guys, like, face to face? Like, the look on the word devil's face, like, in this panel alone is, like, super interesting. Because you have this dude who, it, he wasn't shocked by rel relatively anything until, like, way at the end of the fight, but the first first glance at the anti-magic devil and he's like what whoa, who the hell are you what's going on here no i don't know which demon you are so it's 
it's probably like crazy news because maybe there's only a handful of demons and the fact that he doesn't know who it is is like mind-blowing imagine being like oh i'm a demon that's been around for millions of years there's four of us or something probably more than that seven twelve let's just go with 11 let's there's 11 of them and then you find one that you don't know it's like okay that's gonna blow my mind but other than that gonna be fun gonna be good going out of this arc and probably setting up uh some conflict with the diamond kingdom I, again i'm calling it diamond kingdoms up next but we'll see other than that uh, i really appreciate you thumbs up the video but from the like button and the subscribe button and check out my other videos but i appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and i thank y'all for listening bye